Hello my friends, how are you doing? It is time for another secret sauce video and this time I'm going to show you how you can save different versions of an image inside of the same file. My name is Olivio, I'm a professional designer and I want to thank all of my patrons who support me and make these videos possible. Thank you for that and let's get started. So you can see here we have our image and the trick is that you can take snapshots and the snapshots will be saved with the picture but the snapshots are not just like JPEG layers, they are actually like recreating all the layers and edits you have done so far in the image. Okay, so the way you can see the snapshot tab is go up here to view and to studio and then down here you see snapshots, make sure there's a hook next to it. And this will open up a tab that you can see down here in the lower right side, it's named snapshot. So I will do some quick edits, you don't have to follow them, I'm just so we have two different snapshots to look at. So let's say I want to have this a little bit blue. I'm going to create a rectangle, select a nice blue, uh, nice blue color tone for that and select the blend mode soft light. Um, that's kind of good. Let's, this is a better blue, maybe reduce the effect a little bit. Yeah, okay, let's say we're happy with that. So down here you can see in snapshots you have this little icon. When you mouse over it, it says add snapshot. You click on it, it asks you for the name. So let's say we call this the blue version. Okay, let's make another version real quick. So let's say I want to change the color of the glowing text. So let's make an HSL adjustment, select the first color pool here take the picker and select the color and then I can just change it let's say to a nice orange like this and then maybe add a little bit of Orton effect to the picture a little bit of dreamy glow so we go over here to live filters Gaussian blur like I said you don't have to do any of that I'm just showing you like creating two different versions so let's go set the blend mode to screen push up the radius okay this is snap to the other adjustment layer um, this is good preserve alpha so we don't have too much glowy edges and then we click on the cogwheel and pull down this side so we don't have the effect on the darker parts we only want it on the brighter parts and yeah, that's pretty good so you can see before after okay so let's make another snapshot again click on this little icon down there and we can name this uh, orange plus Orton. Orton, okay, cool, good. So now I'm gonna save the file. So save, and then I'm gonna close it. So boom, it's gone. But when I reopen the file, you will see, so here we have multi-life. There is our last version we have, but we still have the other versions and it's a bit confusing how to get to them because now if you go here and you double click on this, nothing is going to happen and you think like it's broken, but this is not how you use that. You need to click on it so it has this kind of blue highlight and then you have to click on the restore snapshot button and you will see if I restore this, this restores all of the layers and the settings that I have set up. So this is the first version version and background is the original version that we had and orange plus Orton is this version. So you can see we have three different versions in one file but you can do as many versions as you want. This is really amazing and really convenient. I hope you like this secret sauce trick. Thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, maybe click on like, maybe share it with your friends. And if you subscribe to the channel, think about clicking the bell icon so you're getting reminded every time I'm uploading a video. See you soon. Bye.